Go ahead and get you updated on a story we first talked about on Fox News at 4. The attorney for a mobile woman charged with drug trafficking in state court says he believes she's also facing a federal indictment. Yeah, that can't be known for certain because some of the defendants in the federal case remain secret. But because of that federal investigation, a preliminary hearing in state court today was postponed for the second time in a week. And we're bringing in our Brendan Kirby for the very latest on this now. Brendan, we remember this case because it involves allegations of a three year old with that book bag with cocaine. Yeah, that's right, Linus and Shelby. Those allegations are sensational and grab national headlines. But as we're learning, that's just one piece of a wide ranging drug conspiracy alleged by federal prosecutors. The U.S. Attorney's Office alleges that Glennie McGee ran a seven figure drug ring involving cocaine and fentanyl. He faces overlapping charges in state court, along with Tierra Hill. Her attorney, John Bruckowitz, says he believes she's also been named in the federal indictment. Mobile County District Judge Zachary Moore on Monday postponed a preliminary hearing in the state cases. The indictment's been blacked out, but I have a high suspicion that she has been named. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office says that when deputies raided Hill's home on Harvey Court, they found cocaine in her three-year-old child's backpack. We disagree with that, and uh, we haven't seen any evidence of that. And uh, if we get a chance to have a preliminary hearing, those are the kind of questions I'd be asking the officer. McGee's lawyer, Jason Darley, says he expects his client to be arraigned on the federal charges this week. He and Bruckwood say they expect the state case to take a back seat. I mean, being that this is the same conduct that's been indicted over there, the allegations being the same, I would expect the state will, you know, step aside. But Mobile County District Attorney Keith Blackwood says that's not necessarily the case. We are separate sovereigns, and so these cases can proceed both on the state and a federal level. There was a lot of drugs, very dangerous drugs, um, a very high amount of cocaine. Allegations against the third defendant in state court, Antonio Reed, revolve around a traffic stop last month in which investigators say they found three kilograms of cocaine. Reed was driving and McGee was a passenger. That preliminary hearing got postponed because the investigator was not present in court. Reed's lawyer, Will Alford, says he doesn't believe his client is connected to the federal case. We would contend he did not have knowledge of what Mr. McGee was in possession of. Uh, I believe that Mr. McGee, when he got out of the car, claimed uh, the substance that was found and, and stated that, that Mr. Reed, Antonio Reed, did not have knowledge about that and was just giving him a ride. There's still no word yet on an arraignment date in federal court. McGee's lawyer says he expects that this week. We're also trying to find out how many other people are charged in that case. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.